Hello guys, since the I don't like series has become so popular, especially among the videos such as, you know, Rugrats, I might say in my I just don't like the so Rugrats, and yes, you can feel free to disagree with me all you want, but yep, I'm good. Considering that people are more worried about negative videos and pop, oh, I forgot to make the video about Rocky Five. Five of you, I'll make that some, I'll make that after this video. But today, we're talking about under a GameCube game I don't like. It's called Dragon Ball Z Sagas. Dragon Ball Z Sagas is probably one of the most disappointing GameCube games I played. So Dragon Ball Z Sagas is a game on the GameCube and PS2. I don't know if it's on the Xbox. Yeah, the graphics are not that great, but it is a GameCube game. But that's what you expect. It's a basically like a beat em up game where you beat up characters and stuff. Where you beat up the Cyberman and other characters. But you can play as various characters throughout the Dragon Ball series. And yeah, you can unlock secret characters. But the game is very slow and very boring. Basically, you have to do all these combos and stuff. And if you're not good at playing fighting games, this game will just suck. And I'm not good at doing that, so yeah. Basically, you have to... Once the boss battle goes around here, okay? The boss battle here, you know, in the games, are like you play... You have to play... You have to punch them so many times, you have so little health compared to them. And... Even the first battle against Raditz was so hard, Nappa difficult, Vegeta difficult, and you go through the same like four or five linear levels. This is as the point of playing this game. I think you go all the way to the Boo Saga, but I stopped playing after the after the Freezer Saga where I couldn't beat Freezer. I don't know. I think it's Freezer. I think it was the Doyle or Saba. I couldn't beat them because you have to you have to hit them so many times, and it's just this why this game is just tedious. It's boring, it's uneventful, this game isn't fun to play. You know, this game is probably one of the worst GameCube games I've ever played. I never played Aquaman Battle for Atlantis, but this game is dear god. Oh, it is on the Xbox. Dear god, it's bad. And if you still want to play a better Dragon Ball game, there are so many Dragon Ball games on the PS2 and, and GameCube that are far better. There's all the Dragon Ball Z Budokai games that started being made. Infinite World is even better. There's a lot of 360, PS3, Dragon Ball games that are better. A lot of PS... And all the PS4 games are better. Yes, even some Force is better than this. Dragon Ball Z Saga just really ends up being a very slow and tedious game. And really, I wouldn't recommend you playing this game ever or buying this game. I guess you know what the point of this game is. Oh, it's $19.99 for the Xbox version. But yeah, this game is... 60. How do you pay $60 for this game? It's like... it's. Yeah, this game is just horrible. Dragon Ball Z Sagas, the game, not the, not, not yeah, the story Dragon Ball Z DVDs now, but yeah, this game's horrible. Don't buy this game. Play something, play Dragon Ball Fighters, Dragon Ball Xenoverse, heck, even Battle Z is better than this. Battle Z is even better than this. Jump Force is better than this. And yeah, the only game that's worse is like the GameCube, no, not GameCube ones, the Game Boy Dragon Ball games that are even worse. So that's basically it. Oh yeah, Dragon Ball Taiketsu, that's the one it's called, the Game Boy one, that's even worse than this game. So that's basically it, goodbye.